Hey everyone and welcome to another deep dive. Today we're talking all about pest infestations and I have to say this is a pretty fascinating topic. It is. Uh, it really is. And you know what's really interesting about this is there's a company called Pharmanaut. Okay. And they're using some pretty incredible technology to combat these infestations. Pharmanaut. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about them. What exactly do they do? Well, they use satellites and AI to monitor crops for pests. Whoa. Satellites and AI, that sounds pretty high tech. How does that even work? It's actually pretty amazing. So they have these satellites that take pictures of the earth. Like from space. Yeah, from space. And those pictures are special because they can see things that we can't see with the naked eye. Okay, I'm intrigued. Like they can see signs of stress in the plants before they're even visible to us. That's amazing. So it's like an early warning system. Exactly. And then their AI system analyzes those images and identifies potential infestations. Wow. So they're basically able to spot these problems before they even start. And then they alert the farmers so they can take action right away. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. So which crops are we talking about here? Are they monitoring all sorts of crops? Well, they're working with a variety of crops, but today we're going to focus on palm plantations. Palm plantations. Interesting. So we're not just talking about coconuts here. No, not at all. We're talking about oil palms, date palms, even ornamental palms. I had no idea there were so many types of palm plantations. Oh, yeah. There's a huge variety. And they're all vulnerable to pest infestations. Okay. So when we're talking about pests, what are we talking about specifically? What kind of critters are causing trouble for these palms? Well, there's a whole bunch of them, but some of the major culprits are the red palm weevil, the coconut rhinoceros beetle, and uh wait hold on the coconut rhinoceros beetle yeah it's real thing okay i have to admit that name alone sounds pretty intimidating it does doesn't it and it's a serious pest it can cause a lot of damage to palm trees so these aren't just little tiny bugs that are nibbling on leaves we're talking about some serious heavy hitters here exactly they can damage the leaves the fruit clusters even the trunk of the tree wow okay oh. so let's talk damage what kind of impact do these infestations have on the plantations? Well, for starters, they can weaken the trees and make them more susceptible to disease. That makes sense. And of course, they can reduce the yield of fruit or nuts. So it's a big economic hit for the farmers. Absolutely. And in some cases, these infestations can even lead to the death of the trees. Oh, wow. So it's a serious problem. It really is. And it's right. not just the direct damage from the pests themselves. There are also secondary problems. Like what? Well, some of these pests, like mealybugs and scale insects, they produce a sticky substance called honeydew. Honeydew. Oh, that sounds kind of nice. Well, it's not so nice for the plants because it attracts other pests, and it can also lead to the growth of sooty mold. Sooty mold? What's that? It's a black fungus that grows on the honeydew, and it blocks sunlight from reaching the leaves. Oh, I see. So it's like a double whammy. Mm -hmm. First, the pests damage the plant, and then the mold comes in and finishes the job. Exactly. So it's a really complex problem. I bet. Okay, so for a long time, farmers have been dealing with these infestations, and I imagine it's been a constant battle. So how have they traditionally tried to control these pests? Well, for a long time, it was all about manual inspections and spraying pesticides. So people would have to walk through the plantations and look for signs of infestation. Yeah, and that's incredibly time-consuming and labor-intensive. And probably not very accurate. Right, because by the time you see the signs of infestation, the damage might already be done. Yeah, that makes sense. And then there's the issue of pesticides. They can be harmful to the environment and to human health. So it's not a perfect solution. Not at all. So that's where Pharmanot comes in. They're offering a new approach. Right. And this is where it gets really interesting. Tell me more. Well, as we talked about earlier, they're using satellites and AI to detect infestations early on. So they're basically like the eyes in the sky. Exactly. They can see things that we can't see from the ground. So they're giving the farmers a heads up before the problem gets out of control. Exactly. And that allows them to take action much more quickly and effectively. So it's like a preventative approach rather than a re reactive approach. Precisely. And that's a game changer in the world of pest control. Okay. I'm sold. I'm convinced that this is a pretty amazing technology. Yeah. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. How exactly does it work? Walk me through the process. Okay, so the first step is the satellite imagery. The satellites capture images of the plantations. And these are those special images that can see beyond what we can see, right? Exactly. They capture different wavelengths of light, which allows them to detect subtle changes in the plants. So what kind of changes are we talking about? Well, for example, they can see changes in the chlorophyll content of the leaves, which can be an early sign of stress. Stress caused by pests. Exactly. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the satellites are like the eyes in the sky. 
but they need a brain to interpret those images, right? And that's where the AI comes in. So the AI analyzes the images and looks for those telltale signs of infestation. Precisely. It's trained to recognize patterns, anomalies that indicate a potential problem. And what happens when it finds something? It sends an alert to the farmer, along with a map of the affected area. So the farmer knows exactly where to focus their attention. Exactly. And they can take action before the infestation has a chance to spread. That's amazing. So it's like a precision strike against the pests. Precisely. And it's much more effective than just blanket spraying the entire plantation with pesticides. So it's good for the environment and good for the farmer's bottom line. A win-win situation. And this is just the beginning. They're constantly developing new ways to use AI to improve pest control. It sounds like this technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we protect our crops. I think so, too. It's an exciting time to be in this field. I bet. All right, so we talked about the satellites and the AI, but there's another piece of this puzzle, right? We're talking about Jeevan. Even? What is that? It's Pharmanaut's AI-powered advisory system. Okay, so it's like the brains behind the operation. In a way, yeah. It's like having a personal pest control consultant. A consultant in the cloud. Exactly. Mm. And it's incredible what it can do. Like what? Well, it analyzes all the data that's being collected by the satellites and the AI, and it uses that information to develop personalized pest control strategies. So it's not just about detecting the problem. It's also about recommending solutions. Exactly. And it takes a lot of factors into account. Like what kind of factors? Well, the type of pest, the stage of the infestation, the weather conditions, even the specific palm varieties that are being grown. Wow. So it's a very sophisticated system. It really is. It's yeah. like having a team of experts at your fingertips. So Jeevan is like the mastermind behind the whole operation. You could say that. Okay, I'm really starting to understand how this all works together. It's like a symphony of technology. That's a good way to put it. So let's recap. We've got the satellites acting as the eyes in the sky. Right. We've got the AI analyzing the images and detecting potential problems. And then we have Jeevan providing expert advice on how to deal with those problems. It's a pretty amazing system. It really is. And it's making a big difference for palm plantations around the world. So we've talked a lot about the technology, but I'm curious to see how this is all playing out in the real world. Do you have any examples of how Pharmanaut is helping farmers on the ground? Oh, absolutely. In fact, there's a great case study. Tony Mir. Well, it involves the red palm weevil that we talked about earlier. Okay, the one with the intimidating name. That's the one. So this weevil is a major pest of palm trees, and it can cause a lot of damage. And Pharmanaut was able to help. Yes, they were. So in this case, the satellites detected some early signs of infestation in a palm plantation. And they alerted the farmer. Exactly. And the farmer was able to take action right away. What kind of action did they take? Well, Jeevan recommended using pheromone traps to lure and capture the adult weevils. Pheromone traps? That's pretty clever. It is. And it's a much more environmentally friendly approach than spraying pesticides. So they were able to control the infestation without harming the environment. Exactly. And they were able to save the trees. That's a great outcome. Yeah. So this is proof that Pharmanaut's technology really works. It is. And there are many other success stories like this one. It's really inspiring to see technology being used to solve real-world problems. I agree. And this is just the beginning. I think we're going to see even more amazing things from Pharmanaut in the future. Me too. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. But for now, I think it's time to take a break. Sounds good. We'll be back in a few minutes to continue our deep dive into the world of Pharmanaut. So you know what I find fascinating about this whole thing? What's that? It's just wild that we can spot these tiny little pests, you know, from space. I know, right? It's like having a superpower. It is. And not only that, we're actually helping to make palm oil production more sustainable in the process. Right. It's a win-win situation, saving the trees <laughs> and the planet. Exactly. And speaking of saving trees, remember that case study we talked about earlier? The one with the red palm weevil? Oh, yeah. Those little guys were wreaking havoc. They were. And it's amazing how Pharmanaut was able to help in that situation. Well, what I found really impressive was how fast they were able to contain that infestation. Yeah, me too. That quick response was all thanks to those satellites and the AI working together, you know. It's like they're this incredible dynamic duo. Right. Like a pest fighting dream team. Exactly. But it's not just about spotting those pests. It's about figuring out what to do about them. And that's where Jeevan comes in. Oh, yeah. Jeevan, that AI advisor is something else. I know. It's funny because when we think of AI, we usually think of these cold and impersonal machines. But Jeevan, it's like it has this almost like a personality. 
Yeah. I know what you mean. It's like this wise old mentor giving out advice based on all this knowledge and experience. Exactly. It's like it's thought of everything, the pest life cycle, the yeah. weather, the types of palms. I mean, it's incredible. It really is. And then it takes all that information and comes up with a personalized plan. Okay. So let's say I'm a farmer and I get this alert from Pharmanaut Red Palm Weevil Detected. Yeah. What happens next? Well, first you don't panic because Jeevan has got you covered. You just log into the system, and Jeevan would give you a bunch of different options. Oh, okay. So it's not like a one-size-fits-all solution? Oh, not at all. It's all personalized. You know, Jeevan knows that every situation is different. So what kind of options might Jeevan suggest? Well, it could be things like changing how you water the plants or how you prune them. Just making the environment less appealing to those weevils. So it's like pest-proofing your plantation. Yeah, exactly. Or Jeevan might recommend bringing in some natural predators. Like what? Like ladybugs? Well, not exactly ladybugs, but, you know, the, the idea is right, like see. fighting fire with fire. So it's like an ecological balancing act. Right. Bringing in the good bugs to fight the bad bugs. I like it. And what about pesticides? Does Jeevan ever recommend mm -hmm. those? Only as a last resort. And even then, it helps farmers use them in a very targeted way so that it's less harmful to the environment. So it's all about minimizing the impact. Exactly. Jeevan is all about finding the most sustainable solution. Okay, I'm seriously impressed with this Jeevan. But how do we know it actually works? I mean, does it actually get results? Oh, it definitely does. They've got all sorts of data to prove it. Really? Yeah. So they've been tracking how well Jeevan's recommendations are working. Yeah, they've been monitoring everything. And the results are pretty impressive. So this isn't just some theoretical idea. It's actually making a difference out there in the real world. Absolutely. The plantations that are using Pharmanaut and Jeevan are seeing way less damage from pests, which means higher yields and more profits. It's like they found the secret formula for success. I know, right? Mm. It's incredible. Okay, so we've talked a lot about palm oil, but I can't help but think that this technology could be used for so much more. Yeah, me too. You know, we've been focusing on palm oil, but I think this has implications for all sorts of crops and even beyond agriculture. So you're thinking big picture here. Oh, yeah. What if we could use this technology to monitor our forests or our oceans, you know? It's like we could keep an eye on the health of our entire planet. Exactly. And we could use that information to make better decisions about how we manage our resources. Now, that's a truly amazing thought. I know, right? The possibilities are endless. It's inspiring to think that we might be on the verge of something really revolutionary. I agree. But for now, let's focus on the concrete steps that Pharmanaut is taking. Yeah, let's bring it back to the present. Because they're already making a real difference. And they're showing that we can use technology to create a more sustainable future. Absolutely. It's all about working smarter, not harder. And I think that's a lesson that we can apply to so many areas of our lives. Well said. Okay, so before we move on, I wanted to circle back to something you mentioned earlier about drones. Oh, yeah. The drones. Uh, yeah, I think that's a really fascinating aspect of this technology. Oh, it is. It's like taking those satellite eyes and giving them a closer look. So instead of just seeing the big picture, they can zoom in and see the individual plants. Exactly. And with those high-resolution cameras and sensors, they can pick up on the tiniest details. Just like having a microscopic view of the crops. It is. And that means they can detect problems even earlier. So it's like having an army of tiny little detectives out there in the fields. That's a great analogy. And of course, they're using AI to process all of that data. So it's not just about collecting information. It's about making sense of it. Right. The AI is sifting through all those images and identifying patterns that we might not even be able to see. It's like having a super-powered brain working alongside those drone eyes. Exactly. But here's a question for you. What's that? Do you think all this technology is going to replace farmers? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't think so. Me neither. I think it's more about empowering farmers. Right. It's giving them the tools and information they need to make better decisions. Yeah, it's like a collaboration between human experience and artificial intelligence. I like that. It's like a partnership for a more sustainable future. Exactly. And I think that's a really positive development. Okay, so with all these advancements, What's next for Pharmanaut? Where do you see them going from here? Well, one thing they're really focused on is developing pest-resistant palm varieties. Wait, really? So they're actually trying to create palm trees that are immune to pests. It's not quite immunity, but yeah, that's the idea. They're using genetic research to develop varieties that are less susceptible to pests. Wow. That's pretty incredible. It's like they're taking evolution into their own hands. It's like giving those palm trees a fighting chance. Right. 
It's amazing to think about all the possibilities. It really is. It makes you wonder what else we can achieve when we combine human ingenuity with technology like this. I think we're just scratching the surface. Me too. Mm. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. We've covered a lot of ground today, from satellites to AI to drones to genetic engineering. It's been quite a journey. It has. And I think it's clear that Pharmanaut is really pushing the boundaries of what's possible in agriculture. Absolutely. They're showing the world that we can produce food in a way that's both efficient and sustainable. And that's a message that we all need to hear. Well said. Now, before we wrap up, I wanted to leave our listeners with one final thought. So think about those rising prices, you know, at the grocery store lately. Oh, yeah. Well, ineffective pest control actually plays a part in that. It drives up the cost of ingredients for a lot of products. Yeah, it's a chain reaction. When those pests damage the crops, the yield goes down and then you have less supply. Right. Which means higher prices. Makes sense. Yeah. So what Pharmanaut's doing by using technology to protect those crops, it's not just about helping the farmers, it's about helping all of us. Yeah, exactly. By keeping prices down. Right. And it's not just the price of food either. No, you're right. Think about the environmental cost of all those pesticides. Yeah, all those chemicals can't be good. Not at all. They can harm beneficial insects, pollute the water, and even end up in our food. It's a scary thought. It is. And that's another reason why Pharmanaut's approach is so great. By using AI to target treatments, they're minimizing the use of those pesticides. So it's better for the environment and better for us. Exactly. It's a win-win all around. Okay, so we've talked about the present, but what about the future? Where do you see this technology going in the next few years? Ooh, that's a big question. Well, I think we're just scratching the surface. Really? Oh, yeah. Imagine a world where every farmer has access to this kind of technology. It would be amazing. It would. We could detect and address problems before they even have a chance to cause serious damage. So no more devastating infestations. Exactly. And not just for palm oil, but for all sorts of crops. So we could have a more stable and secure food supply. That's the goal. And it's a goal that I think is achievable. It's exciting to think about the possibilities. It really is. And yeah. I think Pharmanaut is leading the way. Well, it's been incredible learning about Pharmanaut and their mission. Mm. I have to say, I'm really impressed with what they're doing. Me too. They're a company to watch for sure. Absolutely. And to our listeners out there, we hope you found this deep dive informative and inspiring. Yeah, we encourage you to learn more about Pharmanaut and the work that they're doing. And think about the choices you make as a consumer because every little bit helps. That's right. Yeah. We all have a role to play in creating a more sustainable picture. Thanks for joining us today on The Deep Dive.